Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, let us discuss about the disease called as scabies. So scabies is a disease which causes several skin conditions that causes itching as well as the rashes. So this scabies is a disease which is mainly caused by a parasitic mite known as Sarcopts scabi and this is a scientific name and it is commonly called as itch mite. Okay, so normally everyone knows that it is called as itch mite. This cabbage disease is called as a, uh, will be caused by a itch mite, right? And this cabbage disease uh, can also be seen in humans and this can also be seen in other mammals such as dogs, cats, pigs, wombats as well as the gorillas. And that coming to the discovery of this cabbage in the year 1687, two scientists called Giovanni Cosimo Bonomo as well as the Diacinto Sistoni are the, both the scientists who discovered this cabbage and they also discovered the uh, causative agent of this disease called as cabbage that's nothing but they also discovered the structure as well as the life cycle which will be exhibited by this itch mite okay so coming to the life cycle which was discovered by this both the scientists let us discuss about the life cycle which has been discovered by both the scientists of this itch mite so the life cycle will begins with the eggs oval eggs which has been laid by the female itch mite and coming to this uh, male uh, male as well as the female itch mite, itch mite will be present which plays a key role in this life cycle so here the oval eggs which will be laid by the female one okay and this size of the oval eggs ranges from 0.1 to 0.15 millimeters okay so this oval eggs will be present at the uh, epidermal region so normally scabies is a disease which can be seen as a symptom a symptom in such a way that uh, causes itching as well as the rashes i have said you right in the beginning one right so uh, you can see that itching as well as the rashes at the skin region only right so at the epidermal region this disease occurs at the scabies disease occurs so epidermis is present at the you know at the present present at the upper layer of the skin right so uh, that's at the upper layer that's nothing but at the epidermis this total life cycle will get continued so this oval x will be laid at the epidermis region only so this oval x will be present at this burrow so what is a burrow you can know at the later stages of the life cycle so coming to this oval x this oval x uh, size ranges this one i have said to you before and within three to four days what happens is that this oval x will get ruptured so when this oval x will get ruptured immediately six legged larva will get protruded out from the oval x so if you count here, this will be the structure of the six-legged larva. It has a name or as adult mite. So as it is immature in form, we will call it as a six-legged larva. So count here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Total is six-legged larva, right? And now the six-legged larva uh, will enter into the, uh, you know, will enter into the skin surface. I mean, it, it will enter into the deep one. So when it enters into the deep of the skin, then immediately it forms burrow. So this will be the burrow, structure of the burrow. So uh, this burrow is called as molting pouches. It is named as a molting pouches because it is named as molting pouches because uh, it is a pouch which mainly uh, where the mainly uh, the six legged larva will get molting. Right, the six legged larva will enter into this burrow which is called as molting pouches. So why it is called as molting pouches because within this mouse this within this pouch the six legged larva will undergo molting process. So what is meant by this molting? Molting process is nothing but uh, where the uh, where the where the larva will get transformed from the immature form to the mature form. Okay, so that's nothing but where this larva will get uh, you know where this transformation of the larva will get transformed into the nymph or else uh, nymph to nymph to the adult mite like that. You can understand properly when I'm going to next next stage. Okay, so uh, normally what I have said you here the six-legged larva will form the molting process and it will get settled over here. So after this, what happens is that within three to four days, what happens? The six-legged larva will get uh, transformed into eight-legged larva. I mean eight-legged nymph. We have to call it as a nymph because uh, it gets into mature form after the process of the molting it gets a uh, matured form it gets transformed into mature forms hence it forms eight legs one two three four five six seven eight so total if you see here in the previous one it forms only six legs right so here totally eight legs will be formed eight legs will be formed so uh, this process of molting is called as larva molting okay and this process occurs within three to four days and then next what happens here final molting occurs so if you see here uh, this is the first molting totally two moltings occurs so the larva molting as well as the final molting so if you see in the larva molting what happens the larva will get transformed into nymph in such a way that the six leg will get developed into eight legged so if you see here in the process in the last last uh, molting so what is the main purpose of this final molting is that uh, you know this anal groove will get developed the sexual portions will get developed properly in this each mite 
so if you see here it will get transformed into adult mite where this eight legged nymph will get developed into adult mite this is called as final molting so if you see here this anal groove has been developed so these are legs these are the spiracle on the plate of the posterior region which you can see at the leg fourth region and these are the pulps and at this pulp region there will be a uh, you know there will be a small projection which is very sharp so that uh, you know that what is the main purpose of this sharp like projections i'm going to say it later so now what happens is that this uh, this adult mite which has been formed will be present in this uh, molting process itself i have said you here the these all of this process occurs in the molting molting pouch only okay don't forget it because uh, the six legged larva which i have said you before will be settled in this molting process only right so when it is present in the molting process it should undergo molting so when it should when, uh, so for the process of the molting process it should definitely settled in the pouches itself so for that process of the molting it should be settled in the pouches hence it will get settled in the pouches in, set, in such a way that it will get developed into adult mite so it will get transformed into adult mite so now that adult mite which has been present in this uh, molting process will be settled over there itself so this is the female one this is a female one and now i have said you about the adult mite here right the transformation of the adult mite so if you consider this as a female because anal groove it is present so it is considered as a female in the same way male mite will also get matured male mite will also get matured so what happens is that so now that male mite will come under the searching uh, for the female for the process of mating so the, the male will get enter into the pouches in such a way that it forms the female and then it undergoes mating so why it undergoes mating for the formation of the eggs for the laying of the eggs for for that process it undergoes mating so finally the both male as well as the female mite will undergo mating within the molting process itself so then finally what happens is that the male will be present in this molting process itself and then fi fi finally female will uh, will get separated from this male and will get escaped from that molting process so when it get escaped into molting process it will uh, it will search a it will search an empty area where these males are not present so uh, the way this enter into the another area after impregnant female leaves molting process okay this molting it leaves a molting process and creates s shaped burrow so uh, this is a burrow which will be formed by this uh, you know impregnant female one okay impregnant is nothing but after the copulation the female is said to be as impregnant female impregnant female might okay as we as we are talking about the each might here so impregnant female might will form the s shaped burrow where the males are not present now what happens as it forms the s shaped burrow all the eggs will be laid throughout this s shaped burrow itself so now what happens again it enters into the next stage so again the eggs will get broken down and that eggs within the three to four days it gets uh, ruptured and from that eggs again the six legged larva will get developed and again the six legged larva will form the molting process and then the six legged larva will get settled within that molting process itself and then what happens molting process again begins in such a way that it forms eight legged nymphs and within that eight legged nymphs again it undergoes final molting and forms the adult mite right and again that adult mite will undergoes copulation with the female in such a way that it mainly leads to the formation of eggs and again that x will again uh, continue the total life cycle so the life cycle begins with the x okay so this is about the life cycle of the each mite so how a person can be infected with this cabbage disease let us see now it can causes by direct method as well as the indirect method coming to the direct method it can causes by direct skin to skin contact either by hugging or else either by kissing or else either by being close to uh, one another i mean for example if you take a person who is infected with this type of cabbage we should not be uh, very close to him if he will be very close to him like this i mean if you giving shake hands or else if you give hug to him or else like that direct skin to skin contact then immediately the cabbage uh, you know that each might will get enter into your into your skin i mean into the proper uh, proper human skin and then again the total life cycle which i have said before will get repeated like that direct skin to skin contact occurs Uh, and coming to the indirect method sharing clothes towels of an infected person which has been used already by him okay for example if you share the clothes of him i mean if, if for example if you take a person who is infected with this cabbage and he wore the clothes and again if you want the same shirt or a same pant to wear again of him then immediately you will wear it then immediately the uh, you know this parasites i mean this each might parasite which has been uh, present in that clothes will again enter into your body and again the total life cycle which i have said you will get repeated like that and in the same way like this if you wore towels of him 
and i mean if you clean your skin with the towels which has been used by that infected person like that the total life cycle will get repeated and you will also will get suffer with this scabies disease and coming to the symptoms symptoms is nothing but which i have said you before itching and pimples like rashes which you can see at your skin region and uh, in which in which in which regions you can see this uh, symptoms i am going to say you now between the fingers at the wrist at the elbow armpit genitals i mean external genitals as well as the nipple as well as waist 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 and buttocks as well as the shoulder blades so in this regions you can see this type of scabies i mean this uh, itches or else or well as which i have said you like rashes which you can see in this type of regions okay so this is about the scabies students so hope you would understand this life cycle as well as the symptoms of this scabies so if you like this video just do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts just you can comment in the comment box i am going to clarify your doubt.